Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building. No doubt. D Block was L-O-X probably. LOX is here. Yeah, Styles yeah, yeah. P. Chic Luch. Absolutely. Yo, yo. Kiss got diarrhea. Kids Damn. got diarrhea. <laughs> 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 Damn. 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 That's crazy. Yeah, he just got back until he said he didn't feel it. Well, I didn't know you had yeah. that, though. He had some beef. He had some beef. He ain't supposed to be eating no red meat. That's what happened? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, man. He good, though. How y'all feeling? How's everything? Feel great, great, man. Blessed. Woke up, woke up today, man. Great. Yeah. Absolutely. Y'all here celebrating 25 years of money, power, respect. The yep. concert y'all having at the uh, Westchester, Westchester County, County Center. Yeah, Saturday, absolutely. Saturday, December 16th. The 16th, yeah. be there. Be square is going to be amazing. We coming back home, man. That place is going to be crazy, man. That's really the first time y'all performed there. We done it one time before, but not like this. Not like, uh, not ourselves. We um, it was a Rough Rider X show. Yeah, and we came out and did a couple. We songs. Came straight from the hood and just went there and did it. it Actually, we never in our whole career performed in I don't think Westchester. Really, no. which I is damn near hometown. Right. Yeah, no. pr- pretty much. Yeah, absolutely. Like, That's our so, backyard. Uh, right. Yeah, shout out to Big Joe, New Life, and my brother Mateo. Mateo what up? You know what, what up, I mean? Joe? Uh, what up? We we yeah. uh seen each other a, a few years ago and said we was gonna make sure we did something together and uh, opportunity popped up and it's uh, fortunate enough that we w- were able to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, while I'm here, please nobody call me for tickets, go buy them. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask you, a partner, you, you know? said this is the first time, so was it because before it would be a, a, a crisis to the city with so many people trying to come? That and... Uh, that the county center is kind of the only place I could say really could hold us. Yeah, and that you could really We've do done something the in the. In what a, was that a, yeah, the Palladium. That ain't the same thing. The county center is yeah, different. Yeah, and as far as a, you know where we could do a show, show county center is probably the only place that could hold you know the whole of Westchester. Mm-hmm. And um, you know we with we're part promoters with these um, beautiful two gentlemen. That's the back difference here. in us doing it this time. And mm-hmm. you know sometimes you don't want to do things as an artist. In certain places, you want to make sure you, you tied into the business. And um, like I said, we were able to speak to Big Joe and Mateo. And, um, and we've been doing shows with them for a long time, pretty yeah. much most of our career, especially our earlier days. So to come around full circle, we were somewhere. I forgot we was at a concert and it was like, let's let's figure it out and let's do some business together. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Well, they, and, um, they also said, they said, yo, y'all want us yeah. to, you want to get booked or yeah. y'all want to do this as partners? And that's, that's no brainer. That that was a, a Being beautiful, in, in, be- from beautiful, beautiful look. Yeah, now so. four, get ready, y'all. Yep. Let's go. And for most people that don't know, Mateo and Joe are, are legendary promoters. Yeah, legendary. Yeah, yeah. They started sure. so many artists and, and yeah. DJs like myself when I was young growing up and they put them on a, a place and a platform where most venue halls wouldn't give us, so they've been doing it for Peace a long time. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, the, the a famous Biggie line. Very, very yeah. long time. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Why was it important for the for, the, for y'all to have y'all own, you know, 50th year of hip hop celebration as well as celebrate 25 years of money, power, and respect? Let's bring it home. Let's bring, bring it back home. They to, fell to, both. They both fell in line. We're we, yeah. we're celebrating both, and um, when you think about it, like, you know, it really didn't hit me this until this year. I mean, the whole hip hop is 50. 50 is not a a big, big number, like you know what I mean. Right, hip hop right. is a fairly. I'm 49. Yeah, I just turned 49 the other day. So hip hop is basically a young, strong male, female, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. But it's at a nice young age, and for us to have 25 years in and been doing this this many years of our lives is, you know, more than half of our lives. I'm old, bro. Is, I is, feel like I've been doing it forever, it's, man. It's, it's, it's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have. Been, we've been I rapping have since you know. this early even do this show, <laughs> dog. I got off the video game at like four in the morning this morning, so I'm like, yo, dude. Yo, you really you a video game, man. I'm a gamer. Yeah, he's you know? a big time gamer. Yeah, yeah. We so, play Madden. Nah, I was on um, I was on um, Assassin's Creed. Somewhere they shoot Call of Duty, <laughs> turning corners. Have you figured out a way to make money off it yet? Nah, like well, I, of course I know how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't be getting on too much with with these young boys, man. I be boys, trying. Man. I be trying. You give to them make your sure username, you... they be talking mad <laughs> yeah. shit to you, man. These yeah. young boys, what? You yeah, can't nah, be too old we talking need, on that. We definitely do need a. Uh... Chic Luch video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, LOX video, yeah, video game. That'd be dope. Definitely. That'd do, be do dope. you feel like the Yonkers area has been represented properly in this 50th year of han- anniversary conversations? Nah, we've been busy. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Definitely. Was, we can't, yeah. can't say we've not been because we've been, we've been, we've been, even we've started. We, was, we did the Grammys. Remember, yeah. like, yeah, the we, Grammys before we came out at that joint. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 From we the joint, we've been on it. All over the place. Every little. It's been crazy. Every little concert, every like, like festival, everything we've been on. I, I was going to ask, you know, as a group, and I know you guys get these questions all the time, but as a group, 
you guys have, besides the albums and the projects and the good material that you put out, yeah. y'all haven't had any internal beefs that, that went public, right? Where, and you guys have done anything, with, whether it was Woo Block, whether it was Solo, yeah, yeah. whether mm -hmm. it was uh, Kiss doing his own thing. Yeah. But y'all haven't had any internal people should, beefs. People so should really salute that more yeah, about so, us, right? Yeah. How do, do y'all do, do that? Because most groups will be like, how do y'all do that? The closest groups get into a beef or a, a bicker. But y'all, nothing. Yeah, but I, I can tell you that, um, we, yeah. Our brotherhood comes first. Word. I mean, we took, that was an oath we we made coming in the game, and we stuck by it. Cause if a lot of people, you let material, material items, mm -hmm. money, and other people being in your ear separate you. Uh, we're brothers without this. Like you know what I'm saying? If Absolutely. They shut the industry down today. There's no more music, no Instagram, no record sales, or nothing. It's still gonna be the the same brotherhood between us. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, we really love each other, man. Absolute, word, word brotherhood, up. man. You know what, too? Like, Joe and uh, Mateo, they've been on a group text with us recently, right? Mm -hmm. And I know y'all see the difference between us and everybody else as far as, like, like we talk to each other in the morning, like, yo, what you doing? You gonna hit the trail? You gonna do this? You gonna, what you doing? How you working out? Uh, um, Yo, Kiss said he ain't feeling well. Styles are telling him, like, yo, eat this, do this and that. Like, it's, I guarantee these other people ain't talking like that with each mm -hmm. other. Have he no interest in even, like, how you feel, mm -hmm. you know? Even when yeah. it comes to music, right? Yeah. Like there's songs where there's only been two members on. Yeah. Or there's songs there's only been one member on. Word. And nobody's ever got an attitude or felt nah. the way, or is it just whoever I, got the hottest verse is what it is. Word up, I'm yeah. happy when my bros are yeah, shining. He win. If he win, I win. Mm -hmm. Like if you, if you keep that mentality, if, yeah. if Kiss win, me and him are winning. Absolutely. And, and whoever wins, it's a win for the whole team. Like, yeah, when we get on a song, we aim to bust each other's ass. Absolutely. I never, I never ever want you to immediately go chic or kiss had a better verse than you, right? Mm -hmm. Never. I'm on it. But I'm yeah. I'm when it happens, I'm happy and Absolutely. I can accept it and it, it, it is what it is. And it's like, all right, next we'll be in the studio. I'll be like, all right, you you got that one. Yeah. yeah. I, I see you on the next record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's I think you have to have a, a a healthy line of communication and and be goal oriented. And then you have to remember when you was broke together. Like we come from Busting down the Chinese plate. Oh, they love that. We have though. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Chicken wings, rice. Slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the cutter, man. Cut Word. that three ways, dog. Word. Word. Like you know what I mean. Man. So when you when you used to that, and a win's a win. So Absolutely. we all win when one wins. So even when y'all talk about missing songs, right? Like she, you don't ever feel a way even when Benjamin's come on now. Cause you in That's the video. That's me that feels the way when Benjamin's no, come on. I'm on the video. You're not on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You in the video though. Nah, but nah, I have a whole I, bunch I, of them stories you talking about <laughs> that I ain't show up to or I wasn't <laughs> on that shit, that song. Him and Mariah and all that. I'm on the Benjamin's though. Yeah, yeah you on Benjamin's. Yeah, I was yeah. not on Benjamin's. Yeah. Nah, I mean, it, 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 it wasn't meant to be. Anyway. You still rocking. I'm there. He's doing it. He's doing I'm that doing it. I'm going to do his hypes. I'm going to do the ad libs. And we get in the same bag. We're going to get the same bag. We're going to bust it down. Why was you on it though? Did he? Yeah, I ain't make it. I ain't make it. That's not how to happen. Yeah, well, I yeah, guess, it I was. Guess, I, didn't, I, I didn't make. I didn't. Diddy's on it. I'm not. Uh, <clears throat> you, but Kiss wrote Diddy's verse. Missy yeah. Elliott put the whole yeah. song together. I told y'all this story. I was yeah. right yeah. there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Missy, how was Missy? Said we, yeah. Missy put the whole song together. She how? said she. We came in. Puff was playing the track. We didn't think we we didn't really want the track. He, Missy said, "Yo, let me hear you mm. spit to that." I said, "Strictly trying to cop those." It wasn't for that. Mm -hmm. Everybody just rapped and all that, and Missy was like, "Yo, we gonna we gonna do you on this joint, we gonna mm -hmm. do that, and then you're gonna write Puff's verse, and that's how that went." And then like I don't know what styles like mm -hmm. how it went, mm -hmm. word right, yep. right then and there. Did, did you write a verse to it? Yeah, yeah, he did. Can't remember what it was. And Missy told you not. Missy to? put the old joint there. <laughs> 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 so you got me for Missy now. <laughs> nah, I, love, I, love, I love Missy. She was in there playing a video of Missy. Gina Thompson or somebody. The, the he, the things yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. She was dog, dancing yeah. and doing yep. moves. Moves, and I'm like, she who was, is this person? She beatboxing and all that. <laughs> Missy, I love you. You look great right now. But yeah, that's how that happened. That's mm -hmm. crazy. We was like, who is this? Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't even know her. If I, I didn't was, really. What was crazy? I didn't know it was. I didn't like the beat. Yeah, none of us. I didn't, uh. I really didn't like the beat like at the time, like you know what I mean? And it was, uh, he did a hundred remixes. Facts. He even had Fuzz Bubble on him. Remember the, the rock mm -hmm. group? And all I remember that. That. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm Styles, I'm mad about the Benjamins. And if I'm Chic, I'm mad about We Gonna Make It. We Gonna Make It work. Do you remember We Gonna Make It yeah, when they man. did that? I went, they was in the hood, they was in um, Rough Riders uh, studio. Mm -hmm. I walked in there like, what y'all doing? <laughs> you know, that beat was playing. <laughs> they come in and out, I'm like, oh man. All right, y'all, I'll catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I just went back to the block. Like, yo. 
I thought he was gonna say like Mariah or something like that. Nah, we gonna we make gonna it. make it right. All right, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. You well, didn't want to be on it? Hell yeah, I would have. They, they would have invited me. I went there that day. <laughs> how, did that, <laughs> now, how does that happen? How you gonna bust it down a Chinese plate? <laughs> because not inviting them on that record. I was probably in the hood, whatever, whatever, and then I came to the studio. Luce is like and, like Kish is social. Mm-hmm. He's anti-social, yeah. and I'm the one in between. Okay. Yeah. okay. So Luch, Luch should have a if it's a lot of people and a lot of like people. He yeah, don't, I don't want to be around. All he that. don't want to be around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. So the studio some days he'll come out of there depending. Yeah. That was who, the old rough rider. Who one. was there? Like you know what I mean. Yeah. And, um, like. Everything happens for a reason because we wouldn't have D Block Studios if it wasn't for Luch. Like he was the one with the vision. Let's get our own place. Mm-hmm. Let's get it. Let's so we could always rock and have a, a certain feeling and certain environment and be in control no of it and not that's right. have to pay for hourly rates to somebody else. So mm-hmm. <laughs> that's pretty much how. It ha- what what I forgot what album what what album is we gonna make it on? That's a good damn question. Kiss album. What I think mean? it's a Kiss album. Kiss album. Absolutely. Kiss album. Yeah. Same album. Yeah. Not Kiss album. Goodbye. Yeah. I think it's Kiss the Gang Goodbye. Kiss did that to me then. Oh, right. oh yeah. yeah. Kiss oh, right. did, yeah. He did me wrong. You know, I wanted to ask you about a couple of DMX records too, because Sheik, you won't get at me, dog. You remember yeah. when y'all recorded that? Yeah, I, I can't. Well, was he mad? Stories. X wasn't in the studio right there. When I came, your niggas want to be killers. Get out. Yeah. I went down there. They, they called me. Irvin them called me. Say, yo, I need you come write this hook. And I went down there, wrote the hook, did it, got in the booth, because I heard Irv say before, like, yo, nah. uh, he wrote the hook, or, or like, then I heard D say he wrote the hook. <laughs> like, Yo, dog, listen, go ahead, man. But yeah, them was my papers. Who so, get, you get the publishing? Clearly. I wrote that hook, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> y'all niggas want to be killers. Get at me, dog. All that. Oh, y'all niggas want the rail. Yeah. And Crazy. Styles, you was on. Um, used to be my dog. You was in my left titty. Yeah. But you weren't credited on the album. After. I don't remember you being. I don't, I don't remember your name being on the album. Yeah, we barely even looked at credits back then. That's the crazy part. Yeah. That's wild. Like, yeah. it didn't say featuring style. At least at the yeah. time, it didn't. Yeah. It's Kisses on there too, right? Nah, it's just it's X and you. No, Kisses on the hook. Kisses on the, kiss is on on the hook. hook. Yeah. Kisses is the one doing the hook. The, the raspy voice. Yeah, that's Kiss. I thought that was you doing no, the hook. That was Kiss. No, Kiss did the... I think I may be on it with him. It used to be my dog. He was in it. No, you got a verse you actually. Got a verse. I got a verse. Yeah, 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 I got a verse. You got a verse, but you put it, on, it don't say feature and style. Yeah, I love you too, Ja. Ja? Yeah, the song was, was about Ja. <laughs> was it? You what? didn't know that? God no. damn. Ja Rule, yes, it was. <laughs> what the was hell? Was it? No. Are y'all kidding me? I don't even know if he know that. No, I didn't know no, that. No, Ja, I don't think Ja know that. Yes, he do. All right. Wow. Y'all kidding me? Y'all making me feel like I'm in the meat, man. Yes, it was. Wow. What was that about? X and Ja having beef, they was dogs. <laughs> like, they was, they was so, dogs. Ja, my girl. Let me get in this joint real quick. Let me throw some dogs. They definitely Yo. tag team oh, in that. Shit. You just jumped on it yeah. like, look, you, my man got beef, I got beef. That's how it goes, we used man. To roll, yeah, we, that's how for it, the most time, that's, yeah, how, yeah. that's how it is, man. He, he's in it and I'm in it with him. That's, what, that's, that's how we going to give it up. That's funny, yeah. though. All right. Breaking yeah. news. When you, when you do these. That ain't breaking news. Oh, ain't nobody knew that. that shit, man. I, don't I, think I, I knew definitely that. didn't know that. Yeah, I had to know that. You listen yeah. to the listen to the uh listen to the lyrics. I gotta go back and listen to it. When we leave now. here. Damn. Listen, when y'all do shows like the 25 year show, is it bittersweet because so many of your people aren't here? Nah. That paid pivotal moments. Well, you mean like X. X yeah. is gone big, like stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, certain people. Mm-hmm. But not everybody. We, 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 yeah, not everybody. <laughs> not everybody. Not everybody. <laughs> not everybody <dog. laughs> we ain't gonna say everybody. Yeah, yeah. Right. not gonna say it lie like that. Right. Uh, right. When, pretty much every show we rep X and Big anyway. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you, you know what I mean? We make sure to do that. And when we go do a show, we we go out and have a good time. We're going to give a good time. We're going to give a good time for the crowd. And um, just in general, not the shows though, mm-hmm. but in general, sometimes you sit and, and you know you you definitely wish those folks were still around. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah, not a lot of MCs could get to say they've been around, directly around Big and directly yeah. around X. That's mm-hmm. right. When for, Big, when Big passed, careers. it was like, it was, it was incredible, like crazy, but like with X, with me, it's more like, I can't believe that he ain't here. You get what I'm saying, yeah. the difference? Like, I can't believe X ain't here, you know? Yeah, like, X, like, you know, we from the same town. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big was our big brother industry-wise. Right. Uh, X is the reason we were on in the first place. So that's what makes, you know, X so much in our heart. Like he he was connected with Rough Riders first. Mm-hmm. Uh he brought Rough Riders to us, us to Rough Riders, whatever however you want to say. 
then we ended up getting on first. And X never showed a bit of bitterness. Mm-hmm. Never showed any, uh, no pun intended, but he never showed envy. Mm-hmm. He never showed any sort of ill feelings. He was happy mm-hmm. for us. Mm-hmm. And he had the confidence in what- yeah, He made his presence known when he got what, on that record. What he could do, yeah. like, you know what I mean? And then, as you see, when he got in the industry, kicked the door all the way down. 10 yes, platinums and all of that stuff. So, and spe- especially the things he did, you know, shit, we went from beatboxing and banging on mailboxes and having that same passion of sort of make it, you know, make it, it it's, it's a whole nother thing. So yeah, like, uh, it, it was it was crazy to when when he went. I actually got, uh, I actually called his ex-wife when it, when it happened because mm-hmm. a police officer I knew was on the scene and he gave me a call because I was the only one. Oh yeah, I remember that night. He, I was the only phone number mm-hmm. he had, so I, I probably was like one of the first people to know and had yeah. to reach out to other people, so it was kind of a very shocking moment to For say sure. the least. Damn. I want to, to ask, you know, I was having this argument and conversation, Biggie as a lyricist, where do you rank Biggie as a lyricist as far as all these MCs? Cause the best. I, that's what I said. I, I, I think a lot of people don't the get best. to see it because mm-hmm. they don't hear it as much, but when it's, it comes a, it's, to... just, it's a simple answer why he's the best. And there's mm-hmm. a lot of great lyricists um, across the world. Mm-hmm. I feel he had the most different categories and styles he could fit under. So mm-hmm. he could rap gangster. He could give you a bones thug joint. He, he could give you something for the ladies. He could give you something yardy. He just had a lot of different categories. Storytelling. Storytelling. Yeah. I think most great MCs are like great at two things, maybe three things maximum. I think he was very well rounded with his uh his ability to catch different pockets, styles, his wordplay, and just his 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 flamboyance, but uh he had intricate details when he said something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I, I put him for me he's always my my number one. He just didn't have like a lot of music. He didn't have a lot of music. That's probably why it's any kind of debate on But he kinda anything. did. He had what, three albums? Which yeah. is- but these guys got catalogs nowadays, man. Mm. You know, you know. T- Twenty five years of money, power, respect. I don't know why, but in my mind, I felt like as a consumer, we always felt like y'all didn't like that album. Especially when you started the whole we are the money power. Campaign. Yeah, I always felt like y'all were y'all didn't. I like love that the album. album. Yeah, it was okay. cool. I uh, love the album. I didn't like that we didn't have the control we wanted, mm-hmm. and just being in the situation. Uh, we came we, in. We had to listen to like. What's hot in Houston? What's hot in um in Detroit? And this and yeah. that, you got to make a song like this and that. We we had no plans on rapping like that. You know what I mean? But you know, you're like, yo, listen, Playboy, you got to do this over here, and then this song is gonna pop over here. We're like, all right, cool. You know, that's the direction we was going. I guess because y'all y'all shitted on the shiny suit era so much. That, yeah, you know, people yeah. Felt like we had to be strategic yeah, in the jiggy. The jiggy. Like, yep, yep, yep. We had to be strategic in. If you're gonna go to war with somebody, you got to really uh. Especially somebody with more money than you, you have to kind of sit back, think, and evaluate ways to strategically make your point of views and make people want to ride with you. So, you know, people, you got to think at the time before we put out our first album, we did a lot of mixtape shit. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people that's where we were, came from. That's where we came from. We so know. a lot of people were used to us digging in a certain way. So the mixtape wasn't the same thing as what you were getting there. So it's like when we flip, we need a few strategies to uh, be able to take this war on. Mm-hmm. How hard and was, that was it? To, one of it. How hard was it one for you guys to do Jiggy, right? So I want you to break it down. <laughs> so at the time, of course, y'all bodied every mixtape, y'all bodying yeah. every feature, yeah, banned yeah, from yeah. TV, you name it. Right. And when Puff puts on, if you think Puff I'm Jiggy. Puff didn't put on Jiggy. I'll play that. That wasn't Pharrell. One of the, one of the producers in there. Like Grease? I think people... Grease didn't do it Grease either. Grease definitely didn't do it. Grease did. Who did the beat? Grease, 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 it says Grease on the, on, the, on the track list. Damn, That's what Grease, Grease did Jiggy? That's what it says. Uh, no, no Pharrell did the remix. Mm-hmm. It was a remix. Yeah, that, I, I, I first think, joint. um... I don't know who played I it. I can't remember who it is, but we weren't we weren't against the idea. I can tell you that straight mm-hmm. straight up because uh, we liked the Rod Stewart song um, that it originated from. Mm-hmm. So we was with it. It really... Uh, it was an environment. I ain't love it too, too much. I ain't just like it. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't love it too, too much. It was not a bad much. record at all. It was, not, no, it was probably one I wanted to get over with. And then the <laughs> video, likely. we had like a bunch of the dances and stuff. It was just a little, 
Then we was running was through caves little, and all that. What was yeah. that, right? It was bats. It was bats in that game. It was bats. I didn't like the leather. Yeah, I remember that. I didn't like the. I didn't like the wardrobe. But make of the song, I was. It put us in a different tax bracket. It did well, but you know. You don't get to the. You know, if you if you, it's like playing street ball. It didn't go in. To the Chicago Bulls, mm. right, 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 you got to right. listen to what the coach and them is saying and, and, yeah, yeah. and see what right. the see what the formula is. But you know, uh, I love Money Power Respect. To be honest with you, I, I love that album, and the reason I love it because that term still sticks up Absolutely. into today. Absolutely, there's plenty of young artists who, you know, Money Power Respect. Mm -hmm. Like you, you kind of know. That model. Yeah, yep. they a lot of people live off that model, so. It was it was worthwhile. Was Biggie around for any of the making of that of Money Power Respect? I don't remember. I don't think so. I want to say no. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, no. Do you think you think the trajectory of being on Bad Boy would have been different if Biggie was still fat? Absolutely, around? thousand percent. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, a, a thousand percent because we had a, a, a organic connection. Mm -hmm. We had a very organic mm -hmm. connection. Uh, Big was a beautiful soul. Like he was a very classy, charismatic dude because uh he didn't have to embrace us. Mm -hmm. That's the first like we we from Yonkers, New York. Mm -hmm. So the minute he heard us rhyme, I'll never forget, he was like, Y'all mother F was rhyme, rhyme. I'm glad y'all here. And to hear somebody that mm -hmm. achieved that much success say that to people he didn't know. And then we just kinda like, you know, uh, we bring our weed, we bring what we drink. Mm -hmm. He was a boss up there too, to, yeah, be, he to was, be clear. He, he used to tell Puff, like, yo, control. not to cut you off shit, like, but yo, nah, Puff, that ain't them. Mm -hmm. Nah, they gotta do this, nah, they gotta have them stay over here, or nah, like, you know, he was like, control people the people scared to even say stuff to Puff, he was saying, he was he was like that. He had a best yeah. interest. Mm -hmm. It could've went either way, say we did, you know, what I mean? you know he had a label, you know. Yeah. Like say we in the little midi room and he's in the big room, he said, come, come over here, man, yeah. smoke, drink. Let's light up, let's get right, and you know, so it it was cool. Even for him to request us on his second, um, you know, his, his second album. And I lived to my last day. Yeah, that, that yeah. was, you Pulled know. up to like a club we had, a show or something, and played yeah. us our lyrics. When the song was done, I said, that's hard. Wow. Yeah. Right outside. So if he was alive, Money Power Respect would sound like a whole different album. I would I would assume yeah. so. Mm. Yeah. I definitely would assume so. Now, now since it's the holiday season, <clears throat> Styles, how did you get the name Holiday Styles? Oh, uh, I was born on a Thanksgiving. Okay. Then I used to be a, you know, a little stupid. So it kind of reminded people of Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday. Oh, okay. <laughs> so gotcha, between gotcha. being uh, born on Thanksgiving and uh, a cowboy, so to say. Got you. Wild you know cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Got you. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask, you know, with everybody giving parts of, of areas around New York so much flack, right? They always talk about the five boroughs. For people that's in Long Island, it's difficult. For people in Jersey, it's difficult. But for Yonkers, it's never difficult. It just seems. Why? Why do you think that is? What do you mean difficult? Like, like, for instance, like you, you look at uh, an, an artist from Long Island or an artist from upstate New York. Mm. They're not considered New York. Oh yeah. But nobody ever said that about y'all. Because people always confuse us to be from somewhere else. So it was more so like, I ain't from Brooklyn or the Bronx. Uh. And it, you know, I think it's our, our attitude. And um, shout out to our sister um, Mary Blosh. You know, she kicked in the door for Yon because I think that kind of let people know how soulful we were Absolutely. and what was going on. And then I think it's just the attitudes of the artists who's made it big from there. Mm -hmm. Which um, there's a lot of big artists mm -hmm. from Yonkers too, besides us. Uh, I believe Gaga's from, from Yonkers. Mm -hmm. Ella Fitzgerald's from Yonkers. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the Arrow Smith uh, lead leads is from Yonkers, mm -hmm. but I think just being from the place gives you a cer certain sort of grit. And like, if this is the Bronx across the street, that's Yonkers. Yonkers so right. you can't really Mount Vernon, right. you know what I'm saying? Mount Vernon's right there. But I think uh, I think it's just our grittiness. I would say our grittiness they and our soulfulness. They just knew yeah. P Rock and CL and all of them, and and, and we did a lot of stupid things early in our career. You remember? Yeah. So it made people kind of. Didn't matter where y'all was from. Yeah, right. you, had yeah, the, yeah. you had <laughs> the respect. We was yeah, holding it, yo. Yeah, you had to respect was, what we was doing. Like, I, I was gonna ask that. We too, didn't come. We didn't come. Um, soft-hearted and tender-footed anywhere. We, 
<laughs> you, <need. laughs> you make me nervous sometimes when I read your stories. I be like, oh boy, where you go with? Because sometimes people piss you off sty- styles, and I'm like, oh boy, please Not don't no bring more, back the old styles. You said that you making that sound like that's up to date. The old me. That's a couple of months ago. The old me. <laughs> I, I, I chill. I chill out. Mm-hmm. You know. How did y'all feel about Fat Joe saying he lied in about 95% of his songs? I ain't mad at him. Yo, dog, I ain't mad at him. <laughs> I ain't mad it is at what him it is. I mean, listen, like he said, it is entertainment. Um, you know. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't hear the whole thing. He said, like he said, he also said they don't come at De Niro and, and you know, all these people in their movies mm-hmm. like that. Right. So I get it. And it shouldn't be, all the lyrics shouldn't not be used in court and all that. Because we are entertaining. We are like making uh, stuff up here and there, mm-hmm. you know. Especially as you get older, it's like, dog, come on, man. I, I ain't killed R&B, like, R&B singers is lying in 95% of Absolutely. their songs. Absolutely. Country singers are lying. Country may be harder than rap. You ever listen to country music? Absolutely. They be saying Why some we gotta be lying, shit. though? It's, we we getting creative. <laughs> yeah. Like he said, we getting creative, no? Getting, yeah. It ain't creative, Jackson we writing five, like, yo, this is fire. Jackson 5 got one of the greatest Christmas albums yeah, of yeah, all I heard time. You say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they lied. That's crazy. I don't have a problem with it. I think, right. I think right, the right. problem is mm-hmm. with, with anything that's cultural and um, black or brown, where it's created with that, we get put on a a pedestal different than the whole world. Mm-hmm. And it's like its own set of rules, which is really sort of unfair. Like, you know what I mean? It is a fine line you have to walk being an artist, but you are, at the end of the day, an artist. Mm-hmm. Like, and I think people seem to seem to forget that, but I think with all of the things that happens in the black and brown communities that people tend to put you on a pedestal that they want you on. And then when you don't live up to it, that kind of upsets them. Mm-hmm. But it, it is what it is. Like, and people have to start playing honest. As artists are human beings. Like, I think people think. Yeah, why well, we gotta go through all that? Yeah, like it's crazy. They eat, shit, sweat, sleep, just like you do. Mm-hmm. They just famous. That doesn't make them more of a special person than to you, the listener who is out there listening right now. An artist is not a better human being, a more worthy human being than you. They're artists. Mm-hmm. That's it. They're good at their art and they're famous for it, but that doesn't mean they're the next born leader of the free world. That doesn't mean the words they say mm-hmm. are, are relevant for everyone's living. That doesn't mean the things they, they want us to raise your kids, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. You got to raise your own kid. You got to be responsible. You you should know what artists your kids are listening to. You should sit down with them, have a conversation about it. You should sit down and have conversation with with them about reality and what's not reality because, like you said. They never say anything to the uh, to the actors, None the directors. That. They never even say nothing to the record labels who are putting out the artists. Mm-hmm. They never say nothing to the radio stations. They never say nothing to the magazines. But you you're gonna hold the poor kid from the ghetto responsible right. for trying to make it doing what he knows is popular genre. And America loves violence. The shit is built off of violence. Absolutely. Everybody loves Al Capone, John Dillinger, John Gotti. That they're not black. America loves sex, sex, and, and, violence. sex and violence sells, and, and money. It sells. It's a natural thing. But when it comes to black, it always reverts back, which is understandable because we have a right, uh, a duty to take care of our, our community. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you got to let a person grow into that or sometimes you got to let a person not do it because that's not in their heart. So why do you want some somebody to do something? That's not in their heart. It's not sensible. I think we put too much pressure on artists to to to, to be real, like to, to to live up to their lyrics. Where, you know what yeah. I mean? If we just looked at it as entertainment, we wouldn't care. But then every now and then you get the rare brothers like yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Who really come from that. Absolutely. Yeah. So we expect everybody to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's kind of, you know, I think the average citizen doesn't understand the inner plays of the industry. Mm-hmm. So that's where that's where it really it gets a little confusing, like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Some people are, are telling their stories. Some people are telling their stories with enhancements on it. Some people are telling other people's stories. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, is it, it's art, and you shouldn't base your life upon some, somebody else's art. And anyway. let's be clear, I know I know some of the young people don't even want to hear what we talking right now. That's yeah. OG. That's old man Luch talking right yeah, now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they. They write at home like, man, you know how much they told us to do this and that, to Facts. raise this off I get this that. and that. I get that all the time. You know time. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, come on. I get it, but just be careful, y'all, because they watching and they they listening and they trying to... Yeah, but you ain't yeah. stupid neither. That's yeah, what, do like, we crazy. come from an era, mm-hmm. this is where generational shit gets lost. Mm-hmm. You come from an era where you yourself should know right from wrong mm-hmm. and make the decision if you want to pay the consequences and right. repercussions Word. 
to that right or wrong. Mm-hmm. And then you make the move from there. Your gut tells you, you know, you should know what what to do and what not to do. When I did stupid shit, I knew it was stupid shit to do. I knew I may have to fight, you know, face certain consequences and I was with it and growth and maturity get you out of that. Mm-hmm. But you ain't gotta act like you're not that bright if you're just gonna listen up to another rapper and decide I'm gonna go do the same shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, it's you know, it, it's not a lot of glory in gangster life. Let's just be right, real right, about right. it. That mm-hmm. that's just high those styles. Yeah, they high. They, high. they on third party drugs. It's right. the crack babies, the crack babies, babies on chemicals. Babies. Mm-hmm. Right but who's crazier though? The kids that are high. Are uh, y'all, because y'all was doing a lot of that and y'all weren't high. Y'all was just psychopaths. That's true. That's true. true. Not un- no influence, right? No under influence or nothing. You ain't lying. Well, man, <laughs> Glass Malone say that. Glass Malone be like, yo, the people that be on Sherm, they was wilding in LA. Uh, he was doing a lot of stupid stuff and he never got drunk yeah. and never got high. Mm. Yeah. So who's crazier? It's the times, man. It's the times, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the yeah, times yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's the aggression mm-hmm. and the things right. you. You went with it. It, it. That's why, as you say, I agree with you. It's important for people to get some form of therapy, right. even if you're in the hood. Absolutely. Hood dudes need therapy is what it really is. Like, And we used to have therapy, like, say coming up ourselves, like, they don't do this. I don't think the kids would even know what we talk about, but we used to build. Mm-hmm. We used That's to right. sit there, have That's conversations, right. yeah, and build, and, and say, I right, at least be able to share our dreams and with each other. And we had OGs other. with common and, sense, and, and, some and, kind and, of common sense. Yeah, with to say, yo, that's stupid, yeah, yeah. young. These, the, you know, these kids, they don't respect the elders, but the elders, we they kind of paved the way to not be Word respected. Up. So it's a 50-50 thing, like. Now that's real, cause who's like the who's the equivalent of the five percenters in the hood? Yeah, hey, ain't no OGs telling ain't them what to do or say or like none of that. some kind of advice, man. Word. Ain't, Even ain't when these young boys be dissing like the older rappers and all that, be like, ain't nobody in their crew stopped them to said, "Yo, dog, you don't know who this nigga is." Mm-hmm. You know they don't have that. And but that's not that shows how wise they aren't either, because they're not respecting how time goes. If you don't respect somebody's history. When it's time for your history right. to be respected, it won't be respected. Yeah. And that's the part they ain't getting. So they ain't, they ain't really thinking. They on drugs, like you say. It's yep. the chemicals. Now, was it was Hov supposed to be on the Money, Power, Respect yep. album? And what happened? Some were cleared. He laid the verse and everything. Mm-hmm. For Money, Power, Respect, that record? Or just Not Money, Power, Respect. No, no, no. Another record. It's a whole... Um, yeah. I think uh, I want to I I thank, thank you. you. I want to thank, thank, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. I want to thank you. Hove had a verse on that. Mm-hmm. You played that back then? You had that? Mm-hmm. You had that? I know. Long time ago, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, just, it just never came out. You yeah. had Hove on it? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't cleared. Yeah. It wasn't cleared. Right up. Oh, so y'all still got that line around somewhere? Absolutely. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's out there, yeah. yeah. Who wouldn't clear it? Hove? I, I have no I idea. He then. laid it. Yeah. yeah. He laid it, so I don't I don't know if it was the sample. Sample, maybe? It was something with the, yeah. I believe it was something with it was the encore. sample. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was the encore beat, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe it was something Hello. with the sample. Mm-hmm. And uh, I can't really remember back then, but it had something to do with the sample. Mm-hmm. And if we wanted to drop or not drop, and then, you know, paying yep. people and some some other crap. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted to ask y'all about Andre 3000 too, saying that uh, being that he's 48, what is he going to rap about? Nah, so much to talk about, Dre. It's a lot, man. Uh, just how you word it and put it, you know, you don't gotta, of course we ain't talking about being in the hallways or or, or 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 trapping and all that too much no more, like, you know what I mean? But it's a lot. It's rap a lot. about People what know he what you been going through. Yeah, mm-hmm. what you been, rap about his travels. They wanna know about your mm-hmm. lifestyle, right? and travels and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's one of the they greatest. They wanna hear from you, God. Yeah, put something one, out, man. He's one of the greatest to ever uh, do yeah. it. He could have rapped over the flute beats. Yep. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up, man. He <laughs> killed Over ear instruments. I think even rapping about what is he gonna rap about is a good point of view because yep. it gives right. different people uh, different perspectives, you right. know? Now, so I gotta ask, go back to the concert. So of course, the concert Saturday, December yeah, yeah. 16th, the Westchester County Center. It's Locks and crazy, friends. Baby. Locks 25 and friends. years of money, power, yeah. respect. Now that you guys are, are, are putting this on with the promoters. Yeah. Now, friends, who are the friends? We bringing we, out we the ready? queen. We ready? We ready? What's happening? We, we, we ready? bringing out the queen with us. The queen, MJB, is going to be in the building. Mary, Mary, Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige, We're bringing y'all. out the queen. Let's go. So Mary J. Blige, And she's going to rock with us. Yep, in the locks. And we're going to bring a few other and people And we got up. some other people. we make making more announcements later. But right now, Mary J. All day. It's going to be crazy. Get your tickets now. That's the first time Mary been up there in a minute, too. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Get your yeah. nice outfit. Get your bubbly ready. Yeah. You smell good. That alone, the locks and MJB yeah. up there in Westchester County is going to be stupid. Stupid. December 16th. December yes, 16th. Yeah, Westchester County Center. Now, Locks album. Yeah. Are we getting another one? Absolutely. Absolutely. When? We got like a bunch of songs done. Do like, you like, always like, got a bunch of songs. Yeah, Y'all are yeah, nah, Buster yeah. Rhymes. Y'all just hoard <laughs> songs. Y'all just do yeah. songs and put them on the side. Yeah, no. uh, 
We don't got no date or nothing like that. We don't yeah. have a date. Mm -hmm. We don't have a date. Bro. Probably, uh, I would say, end of winter, we, we'll probably lock in, in in the studio and we get a uh, focus, focus. But we do got some, we got we do have material laying that, around. With who's the most difficult to get in the studio? Nah, none of us. I want to say nah. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. if you come up to D Block, it's three rooms and we all in there on the regular. Good. You know what I mean? So we always working. Yeah. Now, now was Puff one of the friends, but in light of the circumstances, definitely um, Puff, is not, Puff will not be there. Okay, Puff will not be there. <laughs> Styles oh, said, "I'm man. not even playing with y'all. We yeah, got a team. Puff will not be there." I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. sure it would make sense, right? Not before right now. Yeah, Mary, yeah, before yeah, 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 yeah. Not right yeah. now. Not right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we got right Mary J. Blige <laughs> in the middle of the bay. <laughs> 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 Crazy. MJ. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's going to be sick. Jesus. <laughs> have y'all spoke to him or, or no? Not at all. Nah, who? man. To my diddy. Stop <laughs> said who? Okay, never mind. Nah, nah, I didn't know who oh, you no. meant. Nah, mm -hmm. I haven't spoke to him. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, somebody should. <laughs> Somebody, somebody, no, like, 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 no, meaning like somebody should reach out. I heard, um, because I had heard 50 say that before, right? 50's like, yo, somebody better reach out to him, man. No. And I think they should. That was, that was, that was, that was crazy. Somebody, but like somebody that, definitely but, should. But yeah, somebody should talk to should. somebody. A therapist or something. Yeah, nah, yeah, for real. Yeah, he yeah, definitely, he definitely, absolutely. he definitely right should definitely go talk to somebody. Absolutely. absolutely. He definitely should go talk to somebody and, um, Probably the people he hurt. Absolutely. If they, if they, if they'll, if they'll give him the air and time, I if was, he did, because allegedly, allegedly, yo, you, you still beat allegedly. me to it. Allegedly, allegedly, P for now. P, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. I, I didn't say doing how he hurt or what. Yeah, I didn't yeah, yeah, even yeah. say it sexually. Just in life, everybody, not just, not okay. just, not just Puff. Okay. Everybody, like if you have a chance, and there's somebody you hurt in life, and right you in a better place in your life. It's a healthy thing to reach out and just say, you know, my my fault. Mm -hmm. If you're going hard it. on that kid, though. Yeah, it's Damn, a, man. Every little thing, they, right? I'm not saying wrong or right. Yeah. I'm just saying that. I read with was like, yo, Puff has sex with all his artists, big, even the locks. <laughs> I'm like, damn. What the I, know, I ain't see I that. Know, that yeah. I ain't see that. that. What the fuck you on? You got to get off the nigga neck. I ain't see that. That's wild. Yo, nigga said, yo, dog. Yo, I already was, oh, man, crazy stuff. Puff be jumping on chick's stomach so they don't do this and that. I'm like, what? Let me jump on him. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck out of here. Get your tickets. Saturday, April 8th, 1760. That's why Styles threw a chair at him. Because he tried Styles. He would have never did that. He wouldn't have been here. Yeah, y'all would have been, there been that no claims shit. going on today. <laughs> Not one claim. It would have been oh, no problem. Yo, <laughs> Mateo, Big Joe. Yo, listen, man. Yeah. Yeah. December 16th. 25 years of Money master. Power Respect. <laughs> yes, this sir. 50 years of, of hip hop. The tickets will Locks sell and out. friends, baby. It's, this is not a 50,000 seller arena. So Word. get your tickets early. Yeah. It will sell out. Absolutely. Don't call a group. Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster. Ticket ticket Right. Mary, we love you. We see you soon. It's going to be crazy, y'all. The Locks, MJB, and more. Crazy. Westchester County Center, December 16th. Don't yeah, miss it. Down. Yeah. Appreciate you guys for joining no us. Doubt. Thanks for Thank having you. me. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. All right, peace, y'all. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.